over the trades on Monday, August the 14th, 2023, up a little bit. We were underwater most of the day. Rally at the end of the day helped our NASDAQ strategies up 600 on the day. Live trading, hypotheticals, 375. First trading day of the week up on the month, quarter, year. Our drawdown is about minus 5750 from last Tuesday's equity peak. And so working to get to some more equity peaks this month. And so the NASDAQ was the highlight of the day. It was six for seven. And six out of seven trades were winners plus about 3.5k and the and it mainly went long and the S&P was the the dog on the day uh, it went 3 for 8 and minus about minus 31.25 and so these are the um, you know NASDAQ won ES lost uh, NASDAQ just did a little better than the ES ES went short NASDAQ went long. Let's look at the trades on the day. First, the market dynamics, though. Market gap down, testing that 15,000 level. Spent a lot of time supporting that uh, last month and then um, tried to create is tried to create support here. It came to those levels Friday. It came to those levels overnight and bounced off of that. Pretty big bounce, about 200 points on negative market internals. The ticks didn't very, go very high. Advanced decline line was low. Uh, VIX dropped today, 14 handle once again. And then the afternoon was very quiet, very sideways, but this little rally at the end of the day worked pretty well for us with four, uh, four strategies at the end of the day. Um, and so um, just a narrow range right here. It rallied in a least likely scenario quickly, and we were mainly short the S&Ps and started to get along the NASDAQs in here and you know had to sit through all this and wait till the end of the day for it to um, follow through and be slightly profitable on the day see the S&P the market keeps fighting these downtrends pushing the market higher it's interesting how narrow the range was in the afternoon after the overnight volatility you can see it here on an, on a 24-hour chart market moved up a little bit sold off moved higher uh, sold off again and then rallied and so let's look at it on a smaller time frame you can see the volatility a little better and I'm going to narrow this you can see the full session Sunday night started here spike down spike up spike down and that was it right at the open looked like it was going to take out those overnight lows maybe take out 15,000 and then uh, boom a 200 point rally and it was very tepid, would not come into this 15,250 level. Remember the NASDAQ had had uh, trouble going through 15,5. There was, uh, I guess, was it last week I thought the market was going to try to take out 15,5. It would not take out 15,5. I thought we might see the same thing here. It tested it three times, pulled back, and would not take 15,5. It finally, finally took it out at the end of the day. Then it pulled back, and then it rallied again. So interesting to see, interesting to... Um, what what will take if the market will move higher tomorrow? Nvidia mainly drove drove the market up today, as the market internals were still weak. And so sometimes, you know, we're in that market environment where weak internals start to turn the indexes, and that's what the the bulls do. Um, the the uh, liquidity uh, tries to buy the dip when the uh, market looks weak, and so that's what we may be seeing a turnaround here after last week's choppy sell off. Let's look at that as well. So you can see what I'm talking about on a 60-minute chart. Just this cyclical trend where it's just fighting this downtrend. It just sells off, bounces, sells off, bounces, sells off, bounces, sells off, bounces. And so um, at some point this will get broken. Maybe it'll reverse here. Maybe it'll reverse and go take out 15,000. And we will see what happens this week. And let's look at the trades on the day. So tick wave minus 250, SR counter trend 2 minus 725, gap fill 1 plus 425. Opening chop minus 1225. Opening chop and tick chop did better on the micro today. Um, we'll go over those in a minute. Minus about 1225 on tick chop news. Uh, chop news minus 1200. Actually, I said that wrong. Tick chop news is minus 637.50. 
A momentum reversal is, or gap continuation reversal is plus 337.50, minus 1200 on chop news. And this is open chop news. Take count trend dynamic turnaround plus 100. And so let's look at the NASDAQ strategies on the day. Gap continuation minus 725 EVP1. These were about uh, plus $30. Getting that end of day trade, barely anything, pretty much break even. Tick long and momentum reversal where the trades on the day. This is plus 1175. Bounce reversal plus 675. Mag 7 plus 410 and momentum reversal keeps having the trade of the day plus 1905. Let's look at the micros and so tick wave minus 25, uh, SR counter trend 2 minus 7250, uh, plus 4250 or plus 4, uh, 4750 on gap fill 1, minus 5750 on opening chop and I'm showing this is the one that was minus 1225 on the S&P. So it did better on the opening chop. If you say um, S&P would translate to minus 122.50 on the micros. This did about twice as twice as good. It only had half the loss. Uh, take count trend dynamic turnaround. Um, looks like these don't plot at the end of the day, but the, the values are there. Uh, plus $10, which is... You know, matches the plus 100 on the E minis, and then chop news. Uh, I'm showing minus 1200 versus a minus 55 on the micros. Minus 55 on the micros versus a minus 1200 on the E minis. So chop news did better on the micros. Also, there's more wiggle, and so it took advantage of the wiggle, extra wiggle in the micros, extra swing highs and lows. Tick chop news minus 637.50. And this is minus 66.25, and so 337.50 in the E minis on this plus 33.75 here. Nasdaq uh, minus 72.50, uh, right around break even, kind of like the E minis plus two dollars on those two EVP ones. Tick long aggressive shows plus. 126.50 plus 57.50 on bounce reversal plus 41.50 on mag 7 um, and plus 189.50 on momentum reversal the signals are all uh, around, right around the same on the micros and the e minis except for opening chop and tick chop news which did better um, than the e minis they lost um, the, the e minis lost twice as much on a scaled basis if you take one tenth of the value on the e-minis it lost twice as much on the opening chop and tick chop news so the micros should have done better today in real trading we didn't trade the micros we traded e-minis these are the trades on the day for monday august the 14th 2023 would have been nice to have had a, a bigger gain on a big rally but it came from nowhere and it's very quick and so um, in the afternoon chopped away. So glad to walk away with a gain on the week working towards uh, equity peaks this week. So um, we'll see what tomorrow's trade holds. Once again, those are the trades on the day for Monday, August 14th. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.